just hooking a leg at that. Just bring it down. It's 2-0. It's Messi. He's scored against an English club now. It's Manchester United at a crucial, crucial time with 20 minutes to go. Well, early in this build-up, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo and Patrice Evra make a right mess of this on the halfway line. And Puyol steals in. And then from there, I still think Patrice Evra, if he's got a bit about him, don't just throw your foot through it aimlessly, get the ball down and play it. He hooks it aimlessly out of the penalty area, right to little Xavi, who then says, you know what, where's my target? Well, there's my target there. What a cross, and that is an absolutely stunning header. Look at him look up. I only have one target, but I'm good enough to find him. And there's a classic example. Jamie and I talked about his lack of heading ability. Well, it wasn't there to be seen. Look at that. Just lets the ball hit his head, and he guides it past Edwin van der Sar. Scaling the heights. Lionel Messi. See the way he doesn't put any power on it's a little behind him, so he just uses the ball and he's just guiding him. That's why he arcs over the goalkeeper, doesn't go straight like Puyol's power header. Well, he missed out in 2006, he's cashing in three years on. Tonight. Messi. So often, Martin, we eulogise about his mazy dribbles. This time, it was all about the shot, the power. Edwin van der Sar, I'm not sure, the ball's swerving away from him. The question he's got, the Dutchman, is how on earth has Messi got the space 20, 25 yards out to pull the trigger with no pressure on the ball? It's a real slip-up for Manchester United. And what a fillet for Barcelona, that is. He can do everything. Inside, outside the box, you know it. It's his 53rd goal of an incredible season. Actually levels him with Cristiano Ronaldo.